because I felt a lot of pressure because I'm not an Adonis. I don't ever profess to be one. I've, I never have done. And I didn't want that arrogance to kind of come through of like, oh, he thinks a lot of himself. And I'd had a few comments where people were like, oh, he's not that big to be called Adonis, is he? He's not that carved out. And I know that that probably shouldn't affect it, but I wanted something that I was comfortable with. And the more and more promos that I was filming throughout sort of 2023, 2024, and the more time I had on the mic and the more time it was being announced and I was facing like the top talent with all really cool names. And I was like, oh, oh I'm just not really a big fan of mine. Like I, I love the gimmick that I've got and I love the tag team, the Odyssey. I think that sort of was a blessing in disguise that I'd picked the name Adonis and that Artemis came around at the right time and we were able to do that. So that was very much the catalyst for me moving towards Ares. Um, Ares, of course, being the god of war my style of wrestling has always been that I like a war. I love taking bumps. Like a load of my close friends will tell you I'm an absolute idiot when it comes to match planning. And I'll always, I'll always pick silly ideas and I'll be like, yeah, you can give me a power bomb on the apron. Fine. Like I work from home on Monday, so I don't need to travel anywhere. Um, Artemis will tell you like, we'll be planning a tag match and somebody will have like a really cool move and, I'll go from being planned in to do the hot tag to suddenly I'm taking the heat because my hands up going, I want to take that move. I want to see how good I can make it look or if I can do it or how, how I can do it. So for me, like I love being involved in a war. I think my mat, both of my matches with Jay Joshua have just been complete wars. Like I've felt them on the Monday, but I've given as good as I've got. And that's my way of wrestling is I, I like, the fans believing that I am pretty much dead and buried and then somehow fighting through that. And that's, again, it goes back to the feedback that I've had throughout the year of how I can make that work even better. So for me, Aries was easy. The The Chris side of it just came from being me, really. I mean, in, in normal life, I'm Chris. So I was like, what, what name is going to be more comfortable to me than my own? Um, and it's still taking some getting used to, like when we were doing the tag match at Dragon Kingdom, Artemis shouting Chris or Ares to me was a bit like, what are you doing? Like, whilst I'm trying to get beaten up before I make a tag, I was, it was a little bit weird. But, and I think it, I think it's going to take years. You know, it was three years of my career being called Adonis Payne. It was three years of work that I've put into it. But I just felt like I needed the change. I think for to make the next step up, I needed a change. I had a few promotions tell me that it was a bit of a sticking point, my name beforehand, and I agree with them. I can't say that I think it's harsh or a harsh bit of feedback. You know, you've got to be honest. And if a promoter is not is looking at me and going, your name doesn't suit, they're not going to want to put that on their show. And that's every right for them to have that opinion. I wasn't feeling my own name, so who am I to tell other people that they're wrong for not feeling it either? 